For today's video, we are going to talk about what is annuity according to payment and interest period. So let us define first what is an annuity. Annuity is a sequence of payments made at equal interval or period of time. That means it is a fixed sum of money paid to someone at regular interval subject to fixed compound interest rate. And what are the different types of annuity according to the payment and interest period? The first one is the simple annuity. Simple annuity is an annuity where the payment interval is the same as the interest period. That means if the payment interval is the same as the conversion period, then the given example is an example of simple annuity. The second one is the general annuity. General annuity, an annuity where the payments is not the same as the interest period. That means if the payment interval is not equal to the conversion period, then the given example is general annuity. So these are the things that we need to remember in order for us to identify what kind of annuity are we going to use. So let's start and let us illustrate annuity according to the payment and interest period. In this example, we are going to determine if the given situations represent simple or general annuity. On number one, payment is made at the end of each month for a loan that charges 10% interest compounded quarterly since the payment interval is the end of each month is not equal to the compounding interval which is quarterly therefore the given situations represent general annuity so this will be our answer on example number two a deposit of 5,000 was made at the end of every three months to an account that earns 5% compounded quarterly. Since the payment interval at the end of every three months or quarterly is equal to the compounding interval, which is quarterly, therefore the situation represents simple annuity. So this will be our answer. On example number three, June's monthly payment is 50000 for 10 years that pays 5% interest compounded monthly. Since the payment interval is monthly, which is equal to the compounding interval, which is also monthly, therefore, the given situations represent simple annuity. And this will be our answer. On example number four, monthly installment payment of a car with an interest rate that is compounded annually. The payment interval is monthly, which is not equal to the compounding interval, which is annually. Therefore, the given situations represent general annuity. This will be our answer. On our last example, Paying a debt semi-annually when the interest is compounded monthly. The payment interval is semi-annually, which is not equal to the compounding interval, which is monthly. Therefore, the given situations represent general annuity. And this will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.